Hello everyone, today in this video we will discuss about React Native vs Flutter in 2022. If you are thinking of acquiring new skills to develop mobile applications for both Android and iOS and are confused about where to start, then this video will definitely help you. So if you are interested in these kinds of knowledgeable videos then subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First, let's start with a brief introduction of both the amazing frameworks and then we will talk about some key points that you should consider before choosing the framework for your next mobile application. So start with React Native, it's released in 2015, created by Facebook and it's based on ReactJS which is a JavaScript library and very popular in web development. So if you are already a web developer then learning React Native would be pretty easy. React Native is used to create many popular apps such as Instagram, Skype, Uber Eats to name a few. Now let's talk about Flutter. It was released in 2017 and created by Google. And to create apps with it you need to learn a programming language called Dart. With this you can not only create apps for mobile, also you can create desktop and web applications. Although web is still debatable, Alibaba, Google Pay, BMW, Dream11 are some of the popular apps built with it. Now let's discuss the architecture of these two. In React Native, while running an app, all your JavaScript code is bundled together into a package called JS Bundle. And React Native has a native thread which has the native modules for specific platforms which are Android and iOS. And the communication between this JS bundle and the native thread is done by an entity called Bridge. Additionally, there is another thread called Shadow Thread which is responsible for calculating the layout of elements before rendering them on the device screen. So here as you have seen that the React Native converts all the elements to its equivalent platform specific native elements and because of this bridge and converting, the performance of a feature rich React Native app sometimes struggles. Whereas in Flutter, as I have already mentioned, it's based on Dart programming language and that is based on C++ engine to handle input output, network requests and other native things. Flutter uses Skia as its UI rendering engine which wraps the principal C++ code in Dart classes. And as C++ is in the core of Dart which is the programming language of Flutter, Flutter is better in terms of performance on mobile devices. And it supports high refresh rate animations for the app UI. So here Flutter gets an edge as of now and the emphasis is on now because React Native has already announced that they are working on a new architecture and maybe when you are watching this video, the new architecture is already here. At that time it can be similar to Flutter as React Native also will have C++ at the core of it. Let's see what unfolds in the future. Now let's take a look at the community and packages of these frameworks. As React Native is quite older than Flutter and is based on very popular ReactJS, it has a bigger community than Flutter. But the growth rate of Flutter is higher and in coming years it can catch React Native. And in React Native you can find lots of third party packages as you have to rely heavily on third party packages to build any application. For something as basic as navigation also, you need to use other packages. So to access any native feature, you have to use packages from other developers and sometimes it can be bad for your app as some of the packages are not being maintained or maybe they are not updated as soon as any new features are added to on React Native or mobile OSs. You have to wait for that package developers to add that particular feature to their package then only you can add it to your app. But in Flutter, most of the things are available with it which are essential for creating an app. So you can get most of the native modules built in with it and if something is not available in Flutter by default, you can find it in pub.dev and add that package to your app pretty easily. So in terms of community, React Native has an advantage but Google is pushing the Flutter community and they have an official YouTube channel where Flutter development team provides updates and tutorials regularly. 
and in terms of third party packages react native wins but that is also a negative point of it without third party packages you cannot do any practical development in it now let's talk about the learning curve if you are coming from web development background and have some knowledge about javascript then to learning react or react native would be very easy you can start creating basic apps within weeks but for flutter you have to learn dart and it will take some time to get used to it so if you are a newcomer you don't have any previous work experience then you can start with dart but for any web developers out there i will prefer to learn react native first then after some time you can start learning flutter because there are some similarities also in between these two frameworks such as state management now let's take a look at the job opportunities available currently for these frameworks so here's how i have found these job statistics I searched with the keywords react native developer and flutter developer on indeed linkedin and glassdoor for us and india and i got results like this as you can see on indeed and glassdoor we have 2000 to 4000 jobs posted for react native varying for us and india whereas for flutter we have only 350 to 1600 jobs posted which little less than half of the react native you can see actual numbers here in the chart and you can pause the video to get the exact numbers but this scenario completely changes when it comes to jobs posted on linkedin here you can see we have more than 100000 or more than 1 lakh job posted on flutter in us and about 20000 in india whereas for react native i got 11000 and 35000 jobs posted on react native in india and us respectively so from this data we can see that there are lots of jobs available for both of the frameworks and job posting websites have fewer jobs listed than on linkedin it could be because linkedin is basically a social network site for professionals and now companies are preferring more linkedin to hire than any other traditional site and if we look for the average salary for developers then as per payscale.com average salary for a react native developer in the us is $96,000 per year whereas for flutter it is $81,000 per year and these numbers are for the average base salary now the final question is what you should choose and my answer is it depends if you are a web developer then react native is most suitable for you which was the case for me also i was a web developer then moved to react native but if you are a fresher who wants to build a career in mobile app development then i will suggest you to go for the flutter future trends seem to be with flutter but it's not like that react native is going away from the market there is enough room for both of the frameworks to be in the market people discussed that php is going to die soon in last few years but still today php has its fair share in the market and it's similar to react native as well and also we should remember as there is new architecture on the horizon for react native and it will be based on c++ as flutter it could take a new height and these two frameworks become more similar than different so in my opinion based on your previous experience choose any one of these two learn and work on it for at least one year and then when you have enough experience in mobile apps development then side by side learn the other framework also in that way it will take much less time to get into new framework and it will never hurt to add an extra technology to your resume and you can get tutorials on both of these frameworks on my channel so this is it guys these are some comparisons and my thoughts on react native versus flutter if you found this helpful then like this video share it with your friends and colleagues and let me know your thoughts on this topic and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i will see you guys in my next video until then have a great day goodbye